Hello everyone, The316 here with another Morphin Monday Lightning Collection review. This time is a double review of the Wave 15 Lightspeed Rescue Blue and the RPM Yellow Rangers. Each figure retails for about $24.99. I got both of mine uh, on sale. Uh, Lightspeed was uh, around the $20 mark and I think the same for RPM Yellow. Uh, he was Hasbro Pulse, she was Amazon. Uh, Got these a while ago, though, so I'm not sure if those sale prices are still honored. Although I do know that most of the Hasbro product is on sale uh, for this line on Hasbro Pulse. So, uh, you know, if you're looking for a good deal on either of these, check uh, what I just mentioned. But let's go ahead and get into the accessories. So each figure comes with their uh, sidearm and the, uh, uh, you know, melee version of that melee blade. I mean... None of them are blades, but uh, they each come with a spare pair of hands, an effect piece, and a civilian head. Let's Since he's on the left, and uh, we read left to right, we'll go with him first. So he comes with a pair of fists, pretty standard, nothing new here. And uh, he's got two trigger finger hands that go up and down. Uh, here is the civilian head sculpt. You know, I don't think this looks too bad. They could have done a much, much worse job on this. Uh, the renders did not do this any justice. It looks very poor. This looks fine. Like, it looks like the actor, probably not the best um, expression to have, but could be worse. Comes with this effect piece in a uh, slightly green blue uh, effect piece that we've seen before plenty of times, and that can stick onto his uh, little rescue blaster baton form there as you can see speaking of which let's get a close-up on that there's that side and this side that does have the number two on it down here come on you got that side and that side which also has the two on it so i do appreciate that little detail also this does have a, a peg hole to put an effect piece in I do not have my Black Widow effect pieces on hand at the moment, but uh, I'm pretty sure they can fit in there. These are a little bit larger than uh, G.I. Joe portholes. The G.I. Joe ones are uh, quite a bit smaller. So, uh, if, you know, if you have that Black Widow, the, the effect pieces should work on there. And uh, you can holster that if it would go in. Sometimes I have issues with these figures and trying to get these in there. There you go. Just just shove it in there. It'll fit. As you can see. And uh, I'll just keep him like this for the rest of the video. And uh, RPM Yellow here with her uh, weapons. I never noticed this about this uh, particular weapon, but Nitro Blaster, that's it. Uh, it kind of looks like a, uh, like a gas gun or what a, a gas pump gas pump that's it that's kind of what it looks like to me you know with the red the little uh you know where you put it into the car and it stops i just think that's kind of funny and uh there's that side for you and of course it does have a porthole and here's the uh, baton form of it blade form i mean they're painted nice uh, one thing i don't really like about uh this is that it doesn't really like staying in here trying to figure out how it goes in uh, was a little bit of a challenge, but when you get it in there, it uh, it stays. Uh, I'm probably just going to have her hold the blaster. I honestly don't really remember too many times RPM used the, uh, you know, this form of it. But it goes in there. It's just not a great or easy fit. It takes uh, some time. All right, and then her accessories. She comes with this piece from... Uh, Di not Dino Charge, Beast Morphers uh, figures. That's where this piece originally came from. And, you know, a uh, round peg in a square hole, or rather a rectangular hole that's too small, it don't work. Like, you can try to put it in there, but you're just going to stretch either this or this out, and I don't want to do that. Sometimes I have issues with her standing, so if she falls over... Uh, she has two trigger finger hands as well, and she has these kind of open uh, gesturing type of hands. And her head sculpt, I think they did a, a amazing job on this. It looks just like her. There's no, there's like, n there's no question who this is. Like it's, 
It's one of the best head sculpts in the line, I think. Uh, the hair is molded in this darker color, and then there are some streaks added, at least to the front here. I don't think they added anything to the back. But good sculpt work, good stuff there. Uh, back to Light Speed Blue. This is an all new body mold, as far as I'm aware, uh, at least in the upper body. These legs and these arms might be reuse, but I don't think they are. As far as I know, pretty much everything else is um, new sculpts. And as you can see, I'm having a tough time twisting this. And if you notice, there's some paint chipping there. That's because this upper torso does not want to twist either way. Like, I can do it, but it like wants to lock in place in one of the cardinal directions. And because of that, it strips the paint a little bit. And I'll probably just be keeping him like this, or maybe very slightly twisted. But otherwise, I would not recommend uh, doing that with this figure. It chips the paint. It does not look good. Uh, they do have some new molding for the boots here, which I do like. On both sides, it's got the little Lightspeed Rescue logo. It's very easy to see. Uh, I believe the bottom, the, the shoe is new as well. It looks, it, it looks like it has extra material on the, uh, you know, the top here similar to the uh, Time Force figures. Uh, also, these are pinless. forgot to mention that. There's the Lightspeed logo up there and on this side. Uh, Paint-wise, I think they did a pretty good job. Nothing here seems to be too out of place. Uh, you know, the visor trim is all white like it should be instead of silver or not there or half applied. Uh, mine was... Mine had a, like, slight ding on the front of the helmet there it's not noticeable on camera because i did fix it but uh there was a bit of white sticking out on the front i just covered that up with a sharpie and you know you can't even tell that there was an issue there uh the head sculpt looks good though it looks like a you know someone could fit their head in there it doesn't look uh too out of place or wrong it, it works uh you know they do have the new double jointed neck but the lower portion the lower portion's more movable than some other figures in this line. Like, there's actually a decent amount of b bottom of the neck movement. Top of the neck movement isn't as good. That's mostly dependent on the, uh, you know, the helmet itself. So, like, you know, he can look up that far. He can look down that far. With the lower neck, he can look all the way down to this much. Um, you know, I wish there was a more consistent, like good neck articulation in this line honestly i like the ball hinge but uh, that's more prone to breaking so i get it but oh well what are you gonna do right uh he, he articulates just fine you know there's no major issue here um you know everything that you would need standard in a lightning figure you got there all right rpm yellow she uh has pretty much all of the new stuff that you see in, in the newer release females, you know, fully pinless legs and arms. Uh, she's got the printing on her arms. I like that. Uh, she's got the specifically designed, uh, you know, tires here on both of those sections. Uh, one thing I want to point out is that on my knee here, this looks good. This one, it looks like they miscut it, uh, but it still moves that way. So I don't know if this was a factory error or if other people's figures ended up that way. In either case, mine has issues standing, but that's because of the ankles, not because of the knees. Uh, the, the ankle issue is a figure-to-figure -figure basis. That's not uh, it's not in question here. Uh, so with the uh, like the seat belt, they decided to mold that in and then paint that over. That was probably the best choice here. Uh, I can't really get her to upper ab crunch. She does have a lower crunch, which is good, uh, but. What I've noticed with most of these female figures is that you can twist up on the upper and then you can get just a little bit more movement out of the ladies. So if you're looking to get a little bit more movement out of your lady figures, I recommend just taking it and then twisting it upwards just a little bit. You don't want to overdo it. I, I don't entirely know why that's an issue, but uh, there you go. For some reason, her arms kind of like curve downwards rather than laying flat. Uh, it's a very strange uh, design choice. But, you know, she has all the range of movement with the double joints that you would need. Her lower neck joint 
is pretty rigid. It's not really going to move like his does. Her upper head, her neck joint rather, works just fine. Uh, you know, this the three looks good on her torso there. Nice and readable, nothing missing. Uh, this looks good. The white trim may be a little thick, but, you know, these figures are mass-produced and they're so small, but, you know, they got they got his trim pretty good, pretty small, but for hers, it's just a little wider than the render, which kind of weird. I don't think it detracts from the figure. It's just something that uh, we kind of have to deal with with these action figures. Uh, back of the figure, it's plain. There's nothing there, obviously. Uh, let's look at the skirt movement. All right, skirt is a little bit stiff. Actually, it's very stiff. Uh, she can kick all the way up, though, to that high. Not great, but, uh, uh, you know, because it's cut, you can get the side to side. So she can do a full split. All right. Oh, and it's she does have the drop-down legs, which I sometimes like, I sometimes don't. Uh, back of the leg, obviously because her ass gets in the way, uh, she's not going to get a lot of, you know, kickback movement. So a decent amount of articulation in the skirt, or rather legs, but uh, the skirt is a little stiff, so just be warned about that. Uh, that's the figures out of the way. Let's take a look at the boxes. Uh, pretty standard fare. Front shows the figure. Uh, top here shows their uh, recyclable elements. On this side, we have their helmets and the names of the suits. And on this side, we have the art render. On the back, we have the, you know, uh, product specifications, stuff like that, legalese, and the uh, renders up here, which twist them on their side. There's yellow, there's blue, and on the bottom, you have their plastic free packaging initiative uh, stuff. All right, let's go ahead and get these two situated and we'll do our size comparisons all right so on the back of the box blue says it's six inches exactly uh, he's actually a little taller than six inches on camera he's looking like almost six and a quarter but he's definitely uh, closer to six inches than six and a quarter and then yellow on her box is 5.7 inches and i would say that is fairly accurate uh, and obviously you have the drop down hinges which can add or decrease height so there is that anyway let's go ahead and take a look at them with some other figures starting with some lightning collection their wave mate the wave 15 um, turbo red ranger so there's all three of wave 15 it's too bad we never got a fourth figure in wave 15 maybe a black or a green or even an enemy uh, in any case for the final three, I think we did pretty good uh, for now. I'm sure the Lightning Collection will in some way come back, but to the extent that it uh, lasted, I'm not sure. Uh, let's see how they look next to some other yellow and blue rangers, just one of each. Uh, we have Lost Galaxy Yellow, which I did a review on recently with Pink. Check that video out. And I have Time Force Blue on his vector cycle. Just to give you an idea of the uh, different blue colors, the uh, you know the shininess, etc. So that gives you an idea with that. Now let's see how these two look next to some other figure lines. Starting off with uh, other Hasbro lines, we'll do that first. I usually do them last, but Marvel Legends. We have actually I'm going to stick him over by blue. Marvel Legends Tobey Maguire or Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. Dino Thunder Black Ranger and the G.I. Joe Classified Tiger Force Outback. Let's move on to our seven inch lines. We have uh, Samoa Joe here from AEW Unrivaled. From Mattel, we have WWE Elite 100 John Cena. Doo, 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 doo. Uh, in the back, we have Build-A-Figure Atrocitus from DC Multiverse. Speaking of which, here's Gold Label Batman, uh, Arkham City. And lastly, we have our uh, Spartan Yoroi from the Halo Spartan Collection. Let me reframe that. So uh, I think these two are good. Uh, it's unfortunate that they don't come with like their signature weapons, like the V Lancer or the, is it Ripper Zip Chargers? Is it Ripper Zip Chargers? I want to say it's Zip Chargers, because that sounds cooler. Well, when, you, when I think Rip, I think like Ripcord, right? 
anyway. Uh, but yeah, uh, these are on sale. I would recommend getting both of them. Uh, I did see someone take this figure and make it into a light speed Red Ranger. So uh, if you're into customizing, uh, you know, you can get your light speed red for your forever reds. Uh, yellow, I think yellow's good. I don't know if you could turn her into a um, RPM silver, though. In any case, I think both of these figures are good for what they are. And um, I don't think they're as good as red, uh, turbo red from that same wave. But good, just good. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments down below which of Wave 15 you like the most. It's probably Turbo, let's be honest. But uh, if if I had to rank them, I'd put Turbo, uh, RPM, and then Lightspeed. But uh, leave a like on the video, subscribe, and hit the bell. Don't forget to... Uh, oh, I already said that. <laughs> it's been a day. Have a nice day. Peace.